Hello everyone, Forgotten here, and today I'm, I'm gonna be giving you guys 5 tips and tricks to get better at UBG. Yeah, please do leave a like on the video because it helps uh, YouTube promote my videos. Raw. Anyways, as I've said, I've come up with 5 tips and tricks that are definitely gonna make you better at UBG. And will overall just improve your performance, so let's get right into those. Alright guys, the first tip I'm gonna give you guys is pause before you hit now what this means is usually you can come up in front of your opponent like this wait and then start hitting because chances are you're gonna see what they're gonna do next see i waited one second no, well not one second but a bit before swinging i did that again just to kind of see what he will do and then i can just react accordingly boom just wait till he does that wait in front of him smack See, unpredictable, hard to see, and all of that. Easy like that. That's the easy no tip number one. Tip number two is use your M1s. Now, this might come as an obvious factor, but some people really don't do this. As you can see, with M1s, you can really pull off easy, easy strategies like that and just connect with your M2 at the end. So, definitely uh, keep in mind that you have M1s, and some M1s do more guard break than others. And generally, I prefer styles that uh, have a higher guard break because you can do strats better. What the hell? Boom. Just like that, simple. Tip number three would be try to perfect dodge as much as you can. Now, perfect dodging uh, goes both ways. Before it, it would only go to the right. But now with uh, uh, more variety of punching, uh, you can go both ways. The uh, best way to perfect dodge is just to kind of look at your opponent and calculate off of their swing. So generally, swings go left, right, left, right, kind of like that in the pattern. So one perfect dodge is left, one is to the right. I'm trying to kind of get them to like, it's hard to dodge Hitman. Now, Hitman's become way too, oh, there we go, easy easy like that you can also kind of do do a uh, hajime no ipo strat which is to just go dempsey roll on them like that that also works but you can see you just gotta dodge to one side and yeah like that you just gotta go left right left right and it will generally do better boom see left right let me try to get one more there we go easy so the timing of your dodge generally has to be perfect it, it, it evolves constantly but now you kind of gotta dodge before they even swing see dodging backwards is really hard that's why i generally suggest you only dodge you know front front into the sides because it works best tip number four is using your ultimate at the right time now your ultimates can be really used depending on how good your opponent is so if your opponent is like really good you both will probably get your ult up in the first round but now the question is should you use it in the first round it all at the end just comes to who can use their ultimate better because if you can use your ultimate better and time it better and execute it better than your opponent that just means you are better at using your ultimate so now you're probably wondering wait when should you ultimate so the only style that should save their ultimate till the last round is iron fist pretty much because every other style doesn't have that good of an ultimate you know but for the rest of us the perfect timing tutorial ult would be somewhere around here so we're kind of in the second round uh, i got him down once i think i, I don't know let me check the board never mind I, this is this is the final round i kind of saved mine because there was no need to use it but generally speaking you would want to use your ultimate somewhere towards you know after the first round after you got him down once and then you get him to half hp that's kind of a good timing to execute or like use your ultimate because chances are you will get your ultimate again in the third round so if you execute if you like execute it too late you're not gonna get it again but if you execute it too early you're probably gonna fuck it over so that's my that's my advice on that tip number five would be to constantly change your pace in a fight so don't stick to one pace in a fight if you constantly do the same thing so you're gonna become way too predictable but if you kind of like switch up your pace so i was i was like kind of being you know i was being passive just running around and now i'm gonna go aggressive on him right now i'm just gonna dodge his stuff i'm gonna get in there get real close do a bunch of damage a bunch of shots then i'm gonna back off and then i'm gonna let him chase me again you know I i'm gonna play passive boom hit back off kind of play around the corners play around the corners like that see just kind of counter him sometimes throw a few shots back off here i use my m2 couple of times and now he knows it's gonna come in the corners okay now what do we do we change it we don't use the m2 we start off with the m1 now we start relying on our m1s now my m2s aren't working anymore i'm just gonna use my m1s just gonna beat him with that as you can see plain and simple just switch it up i'm basically applying all of the tips that i'm giving you guys here and just kind of putting them into all into one gameplay so i can really demonstrate to you guys what i mean now i'm gonna chase him up you know do some damage slip a couple of shots land some counters just like that back off now i have a few uh, quick bonus tips as well if you guys have stayed up to uh, like to the, this point of the video make sure to comment down below i have i have watched the secret tips because uh, that means you stayed up all the way all right now sort of for the for the secret tips i'm gonna give you one pretty decent tip right away let me just land my ultimate because i said this is the best time to land your ultimate there we go boom the bonus tip is knowing when to heal and knowing when to back off and then knowing when to rush and be aggressive if you're damaged you've taken quite a bit of m1 damage and 
and all of that. Oh, just like I know I need to hit him with an M2 when I perfect dodge. I, I, I need to know when to back off. Right now, I'm full HP. I'm in the lead. Land some counters. Land some shots like that. Boom, block him. Get 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 him get him down a bit. Get him down a bit. Gonna slip some gonna take some hits on my guard. Okay, I've taken hits on my guard. Now that means it's it's time to back off now. Okay, I've taken some hits on my guard. Back I I'ma back off. I'ma not risk breaking my guard and getting my guard broken over nothing. Boom, come across like that. Okay, our guard is up. Now we're back in the game. Back in the game. Get my stamina up. Manage my stamina well. Okay, we can still go. We can still go. Boom. Like that. Counter him. Back off. Let him go back in. Try to land your M2 finishing shot, but don't be don't don't be too predictable. Boom, 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 and boom. Right now I'm gonna give you guys one more bonus tip, and that's kinda knowing how to put on the pressure on the guard. Like let me show you this works best against people like this. So I'm I'm glad he's a slugger main. I'm just gonna do that to his guard. Boom! Like that. Pile up the damage on their guard. Gonna back off. Throw oh, gonna pile up the damage on his guard. Gonna back off. Dodge, pile up more damage on his guard. There we go, perfect dodge. And boom, all about the timing. Remember, as I said, you know, load up the guard, load up the guard. Nice and simple, load up the guard. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Let me know what you guys would like to uh, to learn next. Thank you for watching, and uh, mwah.